What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to have a never ending idea list when it comes to print on demand design ideas. And we're going to utilize artificial intelligence tools out there to give us these ideas that we can craft and create an awesome design to put on a message card, a t-shirt, a coffee mug, whatever it is that you're selling with print on demand. I'm going to show you exactly how to go about that, how we want to structure our messages, our prompts, how we want to use those artificial intelligence tools and what we can really expect from them. Artificial intelligence right now is at a freaking unbelievable level and it's only going to get better and it's going to get better, better, faster and faster because that's how AI works. It learns from what you input to it. It learns from what it's doing and the technology is really speeding through. And right now, these AI tools, you can't think of them as replacements for you. They are incredible tools that you can use for your business. You're going to be able to 10x your productivity, your ideas. You're going to be able to do things as a solo entrepreneur, as a one person show or your employees to your business are going to be able to 10x their productivity by using AI tools like this. So this is only one of a million different ways that we can use AI tools to really improve a business or make money or make profits. And that's the things I'm diving into these days. But right now, print on demand has been a big part of my business for a decade now. And I want to show you how I've been utilizing chat GPT and also mid journey and some other tools to really uh, increase our productivity with print on demand. Now, one of the biggest things when it comes to print on demand is that you want to have consistent designs rolling out. So you're coming up with consistent ideas, you're doing consistent research out there, kind of piggybacking on what others are having success with. So one of the, the research methods we always do on a weekly basis with print on demand for years now is come to places like Etsy and Google and the ad platforms and look at the designs and the products that are actually selling. We take that design idea, that concept, and we kind of mimic it. We change it up the words. We do a little something different. We add maybe a little graphic in the back. And that is how we um, launch our design ideas on a weekly basis. Now, what we can do is we can use AI tools to actually come up with brand new ideas for us so that we're not just kind of flooding the market with the same design idea, same concepts and phrases that have been used millions of times over. We can actually have a lot of different things and different ways of saying the same loving, sentimental, heartfelt message but getting some incredible results from it. So I'm over here at ChatGPT. This is a currently a free AI chat tool, uh, incredible outputs. You can pretty much have it. It's just like a really hyper-powered Siri is what I call it with the knowledge of the internet. So it's, it's really awesome to kind of play with, but when it comes to AI tools, you have to be able to give it directions. You need to, you know, if you start very broad or you just like a one line input, you're often going to get things that are all over the place or scattered. But if you really tell the bot what it is and what it's supposed to do and what you expect of it, then you can often get a much better, more precise uh, result. So when it came to our print on demand ideas, right now we have Valentine's Day around the corner. I'm working with some clients. We have our own products as well. And we're pretty much doing a lot of product creation right now, designs and necklace designs here. So a typical necklace box design is going to follow a certain structure. As you can see this one here, it's a bestseller to my wife. Got the little love message here. Love your husband. So you can see there's the, the top headline, the actual message, and then who it's from. So you had that little structure there and that, that right there is what I want to come up with ideas for. And that's what I'm going to use chat GPT here to do. Now I just did a little input here, so we didn't have to wait on it to kind of think if it was taking a little bit longer. This has been very congested lately, lately because it's becoming so popular and I don't know how long it's going to stay free, but I want to show you the example that I just did here just a minute ago on our AI Valentine love card. So the input I put rather than just, can you give me five examples of a love poem for my wife for Valentine's Day, I gave it a little bit more direction. So I started with, you are love bot, an AI bot helping my brand create heartfelt, sentimental, and loving message cards that are used in jewelry boxes to add that special touch. That was kind of the first introduction telling the chat GPT what it is. What is this prompt going to be about? What is What am I going to be talking about throughout this entire chat that I've opened up with it? And you can do this in individual chats. You can see I'm developing a mobile game with chat GPT right now with no prior experience. I'm writing sales pages, emails. Uh, we got an affiliate product selling gum t uh, uh, teeth health type of gummies or whatever with, uh, you know, just playing around with these AI tools, seeing what they can do. 
But anyways, back to our AI. I went and said, and then gave them the structure of what a good message card is. So just like I said, a good message card is constructed using the following format in parentheses to my adge adjective subject. So those are capitalized for a reason, as you'll see here in a, a moment. Then I said sentimental poem, message or phrase here. And then from your adjective giver. Lovebot, treat the words written in capital letters above as blanks to fill in. Never use them in your output. So I was pretty much just saying that in each one, a good message card that sells well typically has a to my adjective and then whoever you're giving it to. And then at the end, it'll have love your or from your uh, adjective and then whoever the gift giver is and then whatever the love message is in between there. Um, from there, I said, Lovebot, using the structure above, write five message card ideas for a jewelry box gift from a husband to wife for Valentine's Day. Do not include Valentine's Day in the message, 100 words max per example, because we want it to fit on the message card, and I don't want to limit the design concept and the poem to only be, be able to sell on Valentine's Day. We can have a, a from a husband to wife necklace jewelry card sell constantly. You know, there's anniversaries, birthdays, everything going on throughout the year, or just a, a, a present for a wife, you know. So the results were pretty stellar. As you can see here, we have our first five ones, to my beautiful wife, pretty standard. You are the light in my life and love in my heart. I am forever grateful for your presence in my world from your loving husband. To my darling wife, in your arms is where I find my peace. In your eyes is where I find my home. I love you now and always from your adoring husband. To my wonderful wife, you make every day brighter, every moment sweeter. I am so lucky to have you as my partner and my best friend from your devoted husband. To my precious wife, with you by my side, I can conquer anything. You are my strength, my inspiration, and my everything. I love you now and always from your admiring husband. To my lovely wife, you are the missing piece to my puzzle, the song to my heart. I am so grateful for your love and for the life we share together. From your passion, husband. So you can see the different ideas and concepts we got there. Now you can restructure them. You can change them out. These are all 100% unique. These are never been seen, done before, seen before. This is what the AI bot come up with. I can even tell it to do, give me 50 more. And you can go this way. And you can even go out there, find the best sellers and say, here is an example of a best seller or give it 10 best seller examples and say, this is the example of 10 best sellers out there. Can you please replicate these in the same structure that I just gave you in our own words? And then they would give you different ones. So I could go back to different design concepts that I've had success with. Like on these designs, um, we've typically said, if you say something along like holding this necklace for some special moment, um, those typically kind of do well if you can connect that because it makes it like more sentimental than just a necklace. If they hold it and think about whoever it is, grandfather, the granddaughter, those type of um, connections do very well in that situation. But I could give that directions to the AI bot and see exactly what type of results we're going to get. So this is just kind of breaking the iceberg on what's what you can do with business or with any any growth, whatever you're trying to create out there, chat AI, chat GPT, mid journey for graphics, runway for video. There's a, a there's sound, there's, everything's out there. AI is kind of taking on every little technology here. And you as an individual creator or producer are going to be able to 10x, 100x your productivity. These are free employees for us or very low cost very functional employees. This is much more quality than me hiring a virtual assistant to work. Much higher quality, much higher quality graphic design than me getting a low cost graphic designer for us. All these tools are like less than 20, 30 bucks a month that I use. And it is really incredible to see what we're going to be able to do with these tools moving forward. But I want to give you an idea there, just kind of break the surface for you if you're in there. I know we talk about print on demand quite a bit. So we'll look at how we can continue to use these tools to have success with them. So guys, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out below. I will see you in the next one.